Hey guys, Yankee Prepper. I've got a little review on a piece of equipment that I acquired about eight months ago. What you're looking at here is a Browning tactical seat cover. Now be assured I'm not easily impressed. Um, I, and I didn't expect much out of these. At the time I think I paid uh, 45 bucks for these. I bought two of them before I went on the trip. And you know I had cleaned up the interior pretty good on the truck but I wanted something to cover the seats because I use this not only as my prepper truck but it's my main work truck. It's like a utility truck. I take it hunting and fishing and camping. I, I haul the family around in it. I mean I'm usually getting into this thing and I'm dirty. So I wanted something to cover the seats. They're uh, leather seats and they were in pretty good shape and I wanted to keep them that way. Uh, these have enough straps on them that they can adjust themselves to just about every seat. Uh, I'm really giving you a real life look at these things. This is what they look like after having them in here for you know over six months and I have not washed them. And this is with a big you know furry German Shepherd. Most of you kind of know how I feel about the word tactical after being on YouTube for three years but these actually are pretty cool. Let's start with the back. It's got uh, all kinds of pockets even some uh, Molly straps uh, at the top and the bottom, um, pen pockets, shooting glass pockets, got a little cup holder, built-in cup holder you can use for water your cups, pockets all over the place, I use that to stick matches and crap in and maps, and it's got a long zipper, well built across the bottom uh, for any anything else you want there, I've got some handful of bands and hand warmers and, and stuff like that. The uh, side straps here you can see these are the adjustments for fitting your seat so it'll just about fit any kind of seat and it's all velcro um, goes all the way down the side four of them and then it's held down underneath as well right here with a clip and then the uh, headrest is on with a with a different covering uh, separate from the uh, seat cover itself and again the front uh, you've got some side pockets here I just keep an extra knife and a flashlight in there, but it's got several pockets built into that. Same thing on the other side here. Um, but the coolest thing about this uh, about this seat is where you can stick a handgun. Um, it comes in a kind of a concealed pocket there that you can reach down, pull up. I mean, I put a full size 1911 in here with a Chip McCormick magazine and a and a laser on it just to show you how much room you got in there. Uh, it's got pockets on each side here to hold, uh, can you see that? To hold two two mags and then a, a, another pocket in the middle for whatever you want, I guess, pack cigarettes maybe. Uh, this will actually break away so you can have quick access to everything you want. I actually would have made this video uh, sooner, but Sportsman's Guide has been sold out of these for months. And uh, just recently in their magazine, which I'll grab for you here, uh, I didn't see this online, it's still showing sold out, but I just got this magazine in the mail a couple days ago, and they're showing they have them back in stock for the same price, if you remember, uh, $44.97. Um, and here's the, the description of the seat itself, uh, you know, everything I was showing you with the pocket sides, how it slips on. It's, uh, it's a really good deal. I mean it's a piece of equipment that actually works. Um, I've taken it all over the country already and uh, I drive this truck almost every day. A uh, daily driver for me and uh, man this is a very very handy seat cover. Tactical seat cover. Something I wanted to pass on to you. Now I'm going to throw this one on at the end as a bonus because I bought this through Sportsman's Guide as well. I'm usually not allowed to uh, buy anything and put it on the wall in the house. Uh, but this one I went ahead without permission and uh, put it on the wall and my wife likes it. So it, it got to stay. I like the whole idea of it. That's why I did it. And I think it helped that I put, you know, pictures of uh, our wedding day and, you know, our family photos up and uh, some of the kids. That probably helped with its, with its staying ability. It's not a safe. It's like a four-picture deal I wouldn't even say that it really hides the fact that it's a cabinet you can kinda of see it's it's not built into the wall it hangs on the wall itself I suppose you could build it into the wall and, and just keep it uh, uh, maybe that that you could go that deep with it because this thing swings up 
and uh, it would interfere and hit the wall if you if you mounted it flush. But uh, I could put it into the wall itself, but I, I just chose to hang it and it looks great. Uh, it holds four 8 by 10 pictures in it, but it's a great way to keep uh, some firepower at your fingertips in the bedroom. And uh, I really like it. And I also put a lock on the side, just a little uh, slant lock that I, uh, I mounted myself and, and uh, just drilled the hole and put it on so I could lock it up if need be. But I usually keep it wide open. Just a quick look at the lock itself. You know, my kids know better than to touch my guns. So I don't have to worry about that, just like my parents uh, showed me what to do and what not to do. But I put this on in case they have a sleepover or there's other kids in the house and neighbor kids come over. That's a pretty nice deal. Now, I don't get any kickback from Sportsman's Guide, uh, but I do find Sportsman's Guide to carry some, some decent stuff. you got to be choosy uh, about what you pick on there, and you got to kind of know what you're what you're looking at you know but these are two things that I can tell you really they really work and uh, I'm real happy with them venison tenderloin I got that uh, hot seared with a little bit of ponies on it now I'm going to add some fresh potatoes that I actually dug up out of the garden at 6 a.m. I had to have this this morning I'm going to uh, make these into some crispy American fries. And I'm just going to put a little Lowry's on top of that. I like Lowry's on my American fries, hash browns. Put your eggs right on top. Now add some sharp white cheddar at the end. It doesn't get any better than this, guys. Fresh potatoes just dug this morning. Three fresh eggs, Minnesota venison tenderloin, and some wheat bread. And that's when you bring in the ketchup that I just made yesterday. Oh, look at that. Like... Oh, man, see how that works? Oh, I'm going to go enjoy this. But I can tell you already, this is almost, almost as good as sex. That's right. I mean, not quite, you know, you know, but almost. See you later.